Hi, this is Attila16, and this is a video of DCS uh, A10C Wardog. And I'm actually playing this in DCS World, which is, uh, first of all, a free game that anybody can get. And uh, DCS A10C becomes a module of that game. And if you bought DCS on Steam, I highly recommend you to get DCS World because it's up to date as opposed to the Steam version. So, um, the purpose of this video is actually to uh, demystify a little the startup sequence which uh, is usually the part where people they do the first tutorial and uh, what happened is it's okay and then they reach the startup sequence tutorial and that's where they freak out and never touch the game uh, again it's that scary but it's not that scary uh, ultimately it's just that uh, people get scared away very quickly now how do you start that A10 easily? You can use two button. Essentially, you click the right Windows key and Home key, and that will start it all by itself. That's the easy way. Now, that's the way that uh, people which don't like uh, complex stuff should use, and that will start all the system of the A10 all by itself. But now, what I'll show you is more the um, a uh, normal way to start an Aten, which is manually. And since this cockpit is pretty much like the real thing, uh, you would need to start it like you will do for the real thing. So the first step is, first of all, to go onto the power panel and you activate the battery. And once you activate the battery, you uh, also activate the inverter and you put it on standby. That will provide power to many system of uh, your A10. Then what you do is uh, you activate uh, the boost pump for the boat engine. And while you're looking looking over there, you might as well test the lamp test signal, which uh, makes sure that uh, all the uh, warning signal light up. Okay, now that this is done, I'll continue. Now you start the APU. And you come back here, you activate the APU generator power. You activate the AC generator power as well. And you tell that signal to shut up by clicking here. Okay, now this is done. Now while the APU uh, powered up, I will activate the oxygen, which is the green uh, control over here and while I'm at it, I will verify that uh, the warning for no oxygen is active yeah it does it light up here at the same time here i will test the fuel okay it does work fine at least i believe and while uh, all this is going on i will activate that uh, navigation system which need to verify where he is on earth to uh, work well and that can take up uh, to four minutes well, that's why uh, it's kind of important to start this uh, early on and now that my EPU power seems to be uh, acceptable, I will start uh, my left engine. There we go. And you do so with clicking Alt Ohm. Now you should only uh, start the engine one at a time. And you can see here the power is raising. That's because my engine is actually starting to turn. Now as you can see here, at the uh, on, on the, the other side, it doesn't turn yet. And also, you need to start the engine one at a time, otherwise, you will uh, require too much power. So, that's something you need to keep in mind. Alright, so this engine is powering up. While it's doing so, I suppose I should as well uh, activate the uh, countermeasure system. And actually, I will recommend you to put it on auto uh, in the beginning because it will uh, defend your A10 all by itself very quickly uh, and it, you will spend an insane amount of shaft and flare but uh, at least you'll be defended now while this is going on I will activate uh, my CCIU which is uh, right here I will also open my screens there we go I will also activate my uh, EFFCC uh, on test 
and this is essentially this and you can see that uh, here you have engage pre-flight bit yes so you click enter to that on that panel here and it will do plenty of uh, diagnosis uh, of pre-flight tests and that kind of stuff all right so let's see what else should i do i should start the other engine because the first one is activated so the first one was activated with the the right alt uh, and home key and the second one is activated with the uh, right control and home key so it's not particularly complicated and as you can see it does uh, start the engine pull up, pull up. now the pull up thing is the pre-flight uh, test so don't panic when that happens and okay now while my engine are starting up what else can I do? Well, I guess I will activate the radio. So it's two click on this, two click on this, two click on this, and two click on this. That's pretty much uh, it for the radio. Now while here you can exit the menu by clicking enter. You don't necessarily have to exit it. It's just uh, to be cool that I do that. And uh, okay. Now I'll switch this system to have the regular HUD like that. Now let's see what's remain. Now my engine are powered up, so what I'll do is uh, I will cut my APU generator power as well as my APU start by switch here. And uh, that removed the warning signal here. At the same time, switching on the other side, I will activate my uh, controls, the yaw sass uh, and the pitch sass, and I will also uh, trim to take off, like that. Alright, at the same time here, I will activate the anti-squid, like that. And, okay, here I will load all the data which are contained all over my A10 including the loadout the system and that kind of stuff and okay now what remains oh yeah I need to activate my ejection seat which will probably be the first thing you activate because you never know when you'll explode on the ground and now what remains is pretty much uh, navigation stuff so now you can see here that those that indicate that the system is loaded out so well it's loaded up now I'll switch to the map if I put it on so you can zoom out and see what kind of region I'm in while here we'll go into the navigation oh, wait, I mean the CDU and that interface is actually uh, this interface but bigger so it's kind of nice and what I'll do now is uh, well, first of all I will adjust this a little here alright and I'll click navigation here I'll put myself on Iggy and I will uh, activate the uh, GTRS data link put it to on while well, here there's two switch which are just below the throttle and I activate this and this this is uh, the EC uh, EAC or anyway so, and this is the radar altimeter while well, this one is there an indicator EAC yeah, I was right. All right, so now I activate with the insert key to control uh, the wheel in front, and I click Control C to lower my canopy. And there you have it. Pretty much all the warning are gone, and we're set to take off. Now I'm rolling toward uh, the runway, so taxiing on the. Uh, the ramp 
you click W to slow down and you use your throttle to accelerate or decelerate of course now you should not turn too hard because although these wheels are designed to uh, resist to the landing it's not necessarily a good thing to force them so normally you can also um, request to take off but uh, sometimes the tower just ignore you and now this is a kind of a civilian place uh, so there's not much uh, war toys around but uh, anyway now if you want to see what my A10 looked like it's pretty good looking very likely armed at the moment but uh, you can put uh, quite a bit of uh, stuff on it and uh, it's usually uh, the heavier you are the further away you should go uh, when it comes to the runway okay I'll try to turn here because I'm lightly loaded as you can see as I turn uh, it seemed to uh, be pretty hard on the wheels fortunately I did not destroy anything on that turn all right so getting on the runway now turning smoothly as long as you don't push it uh, you won't get the uh, over G's <laughs> especially on the runway all right so we're set to take off of course the tower did not really care about anything I did now but still um, normally with the A10 depending your loadout uh, you should be able to take off uh, at about uh, 160 uh, on your indicator which is right there and now I'm at 140 150 160 now I'm in the air as you can see here and now I'm raising my gears, which you can actually raise with that button right there. And there's a warning because I'm pretty low still. And now I'm in the air. And there's no warning, everything works fine. We're safe. We're in the air. Now, as you can see, that uh, it was many steps, but ultimately, if I'm able to do it, anybody can do it. Right? So I hope you enjoyed that uh, kind of guide or demonstration. And uh, I hope that uh, if you actually get that game or if you already have it, uh, taking off uh, or starting up the engine won't be much of a problem, especially since you can simply click the Windows key and home and that will start it all by itself. So, but uh, if you want to learn how to start a uh, real agent, that seems to be exactly how it is. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any question, feel free to ask, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.